everybody. Welcome to the SkySwitch University webinar series. Good morning. I'm Jason Jones of SkySwitch, and on behalf of the entire SkySwitch team, I'd like to thank everyone for taking the time out of your day today to join us to learn more about the new line of SNOM America. A few quick announcements prior to today's presentation. Um, we're really, truly excited about Vectors 2019, our, our annual user group conference at the Low Sapphire Falls Resort at Universal Studios in Orlando coming up this uh, October. We have an amazing all-star lineup of speakers and keynotes and breakout training and new product launches and just some amazing social events to connect you with successful SkySwitch resellers out there from every region across North America. So I'm personally looking forward to seeing everyone there this year. And remember, and remember that drinks are on me, and I really mean that. Get out there and don't bring your money. It's all on me. All right. So I will be moderating today's webinar. And Mike Harvey, the channel account manager for service providers for SNOM America, will present his deck in its entirety. And then we will conduct a Q&A session immediately after. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit about SNOM. Uh, they have completely revamped their brand. They've revamped their lineup. They have some amazing SIP hardware. It is supported by our button builder inside our dash manager so i think you're going to find their price point their functionality uh, just a winner for you when you're selling out there in the market so i'm excited about mike and what he's going to be presenting today so with this q and q a at the end i just want to encourage everybody just to type in all your questions in that question widget in the section of your go to webinar plugin so and as always we're going to be recording today's webinar which will be posted on the SkySwitch YouTube channel, and then we'll send that out to all the participants via email immediately after the webinar. Okay, now let's sell in and get prepared to get enlightened by Mr. Mike Harvey of Snow America. The floor is all yours, Mike. Great, thanks, Jason. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody, and uh, enlightened. Man, that's, uh, that's a lot to live up to, but uh, I'll do my best can, anyway, so. You can do it, Mike. <laughs> So um, no, so we want to uh, we want to take a moment to um, introduce uh, Snome Americas to the Sky Switch uh, uh, partners and the channel. And uh, I guess you know the the first question that you know everybody always asks, and uh, we'll do our best to clear up is how do you say the name? Is it Snom? Is it Snome? Uh, you know what? How, how do you say it? So the the best answer that we can say is. We don't really know, <laughs> so you can you can walk around and ask you know five different uh, German people how to say the name. You'll get four different answers, but uh, you know we all we all walk around saying Snome, um, so that's what we're gonna go with. And uh, you know so Snome Americas is how we say the name. Um, next thing I kind of want to talk about is um, you know uh, uh, um, getting back to some basics for uh, communicating with people. So or networking, or how do you talk to people? And um, this is a um, this kind of gives you a roadmap uh, of how you should communicate with people. Uh, very straightforward. Um, you know, greet who you're talking to, tell them who you are, uh, say a little bit about yourself, and then you know, tell them why you're there, what you're looking for. Um, and so you know. And Nigo Montoya from one of my favorite movies, The Princess Bride, was the best at this. So if anybody's ever watched that movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But just in case you haven't, um, we can give you a little example of Inigo Montoya doing it in his best way. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. So straightforward. Told you his name, got his point across, and we'll open the webinar or the PowerPoint again. There. So, a little funny. So, who is Snome? <clears throat> so, Snome is a German phone manufacturer. They have been uh, building uh, SIP phones for 20 plus years. Um, if anybody has any uh, has, has worked with them in the past, 
you'll know that the, the one thing that Snohm or the Germans are famous for is over-engineering everything. If you've ever driven a, a BMW or a Mercedes or any other German type car, you'll know that it's top notch. It's the best of the best. Um, you know, you just can't beat that feel of something that's been German made. And the same goes for their SIP phones. Um, so you can see they've been making SIP phones for 20 years. Um, so let's talk a little bit about um, Snohm and the VTEC relationship, because I'm sure you guys have probably all heard a little bit about VTEC and Snohm and what, what is that relationship? So VTEC purchased Snohm in 2016, so about three years ago. Now, the reason that we did that was, as I mentioned before, they have, they're very good at technology. Um, VTEC launched their own line of SIP phones, you all probably remember, uh, about five years ago uh, under the VTEC business brand. Um, but there were some things that um, we, we, we were, you know, the VTEC brand is very well recognized, um, but maybe for the wrong reasons in this business, right? So VTEC is very good at consumer products. They're very good at their children's learning toys. Um, we're very, very good at making phones. However, in this market, people were associating us more with the consumer and the toy company. So to kind of um, eliminate that, when we purchased Snohm, we decided that we would come into the market under Snohm Americas um, using what Snohm does very, very well, which is the technology, the software, um, and then um, use what we do very well, which is design and manufacturing. So when we look at the two companies being merged together or you know, um, kind of married together on the SIP products, um, we are the manufacturer, so we own all of our own factories. Um, so we're not beholden to anybody to make our products, which gives us a lot of flexibility. Um, everything that we do under Snowm Americas uh, is done here, here in the US. So we have our corporate office in Beaverton, Oregon. That's where we do all of our support, all of our, um, all of our financing, all of our executives. So our North American um, team is here in Beaverton, Oregon. Um, we have a logistics center in San Antonio. So we're not waiting for containers to come in from Hong Kong to get to our distributor. We're stocking product here in the US in our logistics center in San Antonio. Um, so we have ample supply all the time of our product. Um, other manufacturers rely on the distributors to, to stock their product where we do not. We keep our product here in the US, um, which, is, which is great because if somebody goes out and gets a big order, best thing you wanna do is wait 90 to 120 days for product to come in via C. So, uh, so keeping inventory here gives you guys a lot of flexibility to go out and get those big deals and not have to worry about you know, when is product gonna come in. Another big difference, um, because we do have everything here in the US, is our support. Our technical support is all US-based. So if you have an issue with the phone, we have an 800 number. You call that number, you get somebody on the phone, real live person, um, they understand the language, you're not dialing into some other country or waiting for you know, the China market to open to get somebody to call you back. Um, there's no call queues. Um, so we can we can help you pretty quickly uh, with our support. Now on the support side, something that's very unique is we offer a three-year warranty on all of our products. Um, compared to some of our competition where they offer one year, um, you know, uh, we offer a three-year. And our warranty is run as advanced replacement. So uh, when you have an issue uh, with the phone, we don't require you to send the phone back first. So what we'll do is we will send you out a phone and then when you get the new one, you box up the old one, send it back to us. So what that's gonna do is eliminate downtime because when your customer is down, 
they're yelling at somebody. They're either they're either yelling at you or yelling at us, um, and it's just not uh, you know we want to try to eliminate that. So, so that's just kind of a little little differentiate but differentiation about snow and uh, compared to our competition. So, um, I want to get into want to get into the product. Um, I'm not going to go deep into speeds and feeds. I'm not the uh, I'm not the technical guy. Um, so I'm not going to bore you with all the technical stuff, but I am going to kind of try to frame this and how you can sell it, who you would sell it to, um, and, and sort of like that. So, um, hop right in the product, the, uh, the D120, this is your entry level phone. This is your down and dirty, uh, single line, uh, two function key button. When you need a lot of phones that just need to ring and answer for like call centers, or you can even put this into schools or somewhere like that, this is your phone. Um, it's PoE, uh, so you can run you know one line still. It's got uh, dual Ethernet ports, pass through, so 10100. So again, if you, if you got a place where you just need a lot of phones, you need something down and dirty, you know, super inexpensive, the D120 is going to be your phone. Good thing about the D120, even though it's an entry-level phone, we still put that three-year warranty on this entry-level phone. So if something goes wrong with this thing, we'll replace that phone for three years if it's a, if it's a manufacturer defect. So stepping up a little bit, now we're going to get into um, uh, some of our some of our more uh, advanced phones. So some common functionalities across all of our devices. Um, and this will be spelled out, but some things that are common um, going forward, we're going to have all color screens. We are going to have a, um, a sensor hook switch on the device rather than a mechanical hook switch. So one of the biggest failure points for a device is anything that's mechanical. So if you have a hook switch that's got a little spring in it, that's probably the thing that's going to fail the most out of any device, right, is that mechanical switch because uh, springs and things like that wear out. So to eliminate that failure point, we put a mechanical or we put a sensor hook switch into all of our devices. So the, the next few desk sets I show you will have that sensor hook switch. We have gig E pass through on the next devices I'm going to show you. So there's three phones I'm going to show you. All three have a gig pass through. All three have USB ports. All the next phones have the ability to add a sidecar. Even this entry level 717, you can add three sidecars, up to three sidecars to this device. Um, and the sidecars have USB. So if you put the, if you use the USB port for the sidecar on this phone, the sidecar still has USB ports, so you don't lose the ability to add um, a, a something to the via USB to the device. So, so this is your 717. Um, this is more like your office worker phone. Um, it's got three programmable line keys. Uh, you can run six uh, SIP accounts into this phone. So even though it's entry level, you'll notice that we put a lot of cool features into this phone. Um, XML browser is available as well. Um, all of our devices are um, uh, configurable on Snap Builder. So if you guys want to use Snap Builder, you, you're able to use uh, Snap Builder with our phones as well. So <clears throat> next phone, this is probably this going to be the sweet spot for everybody. This is going to be the one that you're going to want to put in the cubicles. Um, this is going to be probably your mainline phone. The uh, reason I say that is because it's got everything that everybody needs. Uh, you can run 12 SIP accounts in here. It's got eight programmable function keys. You'll notice up on the screen. Um, and that actually has four pages. So you can do 32 different functions. And those functions can be uh, BLFs, uh, speed dials, um, a conference, um, a park. So a lot of different options um, that you can program those buttons for. Now, the cool thing about our phones is uh, you can do everything uh, via Snap Builder, or you can also do everything via the web GUI. But what's nice is the phone is completely configurable. Even the number key, 
So if you know you can get into one of your colleagues' phones, you can take that number one button and change it into a nine, and now they can't figure out why they can't make a phone call because you mess around with their phone. So every button on this thing is configurable. So you can fully customize this phone to do pretty much whatever you want. Um, that also includes adding custom images. So if you have a customer that wants their logo on the screen, you have the ability to add that logo as well. So um, this phone um, adds a motion sensor. Um, you'll see that little, that little oval button in the middle. Um, that's a sensor. So when your phone goes idle, your screen dims and your programmable functions go away. Normally what you have to do is you have to wake that phone up somehow. That's either typically by picking up the handset or pushing a button or doing something to wake it up. Well, with that motion sensor, as your hand gets near that phone, your live buttons um, come up. So you don't have to physically touch the phone to find you know, where that speed dial is for your, for your boss. Um, it comes up by itself with that motion sensor. So moving on to you know, what we consider our executive phone. Um, this one, you'll notice right away that we add a second screen. So we take the buttons that were around the screen on the 735 and we move them down to a second screen, freeing up all that real estate around the main screen. Looks nice, clean look. Um, logos will show up great on this screen because there's nothing getting in the way. And we take and use that second display for your prog programmable features. So this goes, this has six dedicated buttons, but 24 functions. So four pages of functions. And again, just like the 735, that can be BLFs, speed dials, conferencing. Um, we have something on our phone called Smart Transfer. You can program one of these buttons to be Smart Transfer. And what Smart Transfer basically does, it's like a one-touch transfer. So you can set that button up ahead of time so that if you have an incoming call and you don't have the opportunity to answer it, maybe you're on a call or you're just, you're just busy, you know, grinding away on spreadsheets, you don't want to talk to anybody, you got smart transfer set up, you just hit that button. You don't even have to answer the phone. You just hit that button and it'll transfer that call to wherever you've set it up. You can set it up to your cell phone, if you have a receptionist or a voicemail, um, you can set smart transfer up to just take that call and boom, it's gone. So you don't have to even answer that phone. Um, but again, uh, 12 SIP lines, uh, dual display. This one, um, we have added Bluetooth uh, built into the device. So you don't need to uh, purchase any extra uh, uh, adapters or dongles or whatever you want to call it to make Bluetooth work with this phone is built in. So you'll be able to pair um, a headset uh, via Bluetooth uh, to this phone. Uh, we still have the USB port and we still have the, um, the gig E uh, pass through uh, ports as well. So. Um, so the 785, this would probably be more towards your executives or your managers, somebody who's probably going to want a little bit nicer device on their phone or on their desk, um, that's probably where you're going to put the, the 785. And again, all of these devices have that three-year advanced replacement warranty. So if anything goes wrong, call us up. We'll send a new product out to your customer. They box up the old one send it back. And uh, I'll say we use we use new product in all of our warranty work. So the, the industry standard is typically to use some sort of a refurbished product. Um, we don't do that. Anything that we do under warranty, we use all new. So you know you're going to get a product that's going to work. You're not going to have to worry about it being refurbished or, you know, it's going to be scratched or what's going to be broken. It's going to be a brand new product. Same, same shelf that we pull customer orders from, we pull our warranty orders from. So it's a brand new product for any warranty work.
So what's nice about our desk sets is um, being uh, Snome slash VTech, um, we're very, very good at cordless. Um, that's you know kind of where we cut our teeth. That's where Snome cut their teeth. That's why when we purchased Snome, it, was, it made sense because we're both really good at cordless. So what we've done is we've found ways to bring cordless into our desk sets. And we can do that via a couple of different dongles. So all three phones, 717, the D735 and the D785, via that USB port, you have the ability to add different adapters. So the first adapter you can add is a DECT adapter. And DECT is just um, a wireless frequency. Um, so it's just like, you know, when you, when you have a cordless phone, um, it, DECT is probably the, the technology that it's working on. So we brought that cordless technology into our desk sets. Now the two devices that you can currently pair to the desk sets is the wireless speakerphone and then the DECT wireless headset. And you're thinking, ah, I just use my Bluetooth headset. Well, you know, why do I want to use a DECT headset? It's, you know, well, a couple of different reasons. Um, a DECT headset will give you better range so you're talking 500 feet of range versus, you know, maybe 50 feet with Bluetooth if you're downhill and the wind's behind you. Um, better voice quality. So one thing about DECT is there's really no interference from Wi-Fi devices, microwaves, hair dryers. You don't get any of that with DECT. So you're going to get better voice quality, better range, better, better battery life. So... The one thing about Bluetooth that always kills me is when I'm talking on my Bluetooth, um, you know, I get that little battery beep in my ear, you know, maybe after an hour or an hour and a half, right? But with DECT, you know, you're talking seven hours of battery time. So you don't have to worry about, well, if you're on a seven hour call, you got a lot to worry about, <laughs> but you don't have to worry about the battery dying when you're on, you know, like a normal conference call. Now, the thing that's very, very unique is that DECT wireless speaker. So I mentioned the 785, you could put that into an executive office, but a lot of executives have a separate area to do conferencing. So typically it's very hard to get a conference phone into the middle of somebody's office without them having to trip over a bunch of wires. So with the decked wireless speaker, you don't have to worry about that. You buy the decked adapter, you pair it to a wireless speaker, now you've got a separate area to do conferencing that's completely wireless or completely cordless. Okay, let's use cordless, completely cordless. Um, that deck speaker runs on battery. So all you've got to do is unplug it from wherever it's sitting, put it in their separate conferencing area, you're good to go. Um, we also have a Wi-Fi adapter. So if you've got someone that's got an area that's hard to wire and they need a desk phone or two somewhere, you can grab this Wi-Fi adapter and you're on your way. So, you know, a lot of a lot of older buildings now are being rehabbed or refurbished. Um, and a lot of people are finding it hard to run cables through these buildings because brick walls or whatever. Um, but they're very good at running Wi-Fi. So if you need to get phones somewhere where you can't run a cable, grab a couple of Wi-Fi dongles and you're on your way. So churches, old school buildings, old factories, people are rehabbing old factories now and bring them into restaurants. And um, I mean, this is perfect for any type of renovation that somebody's doing. Uh, they can use this Wi-Fi dongle. So that's kind of how we are bringing um, cordless devices into the, into the desk sets. So this kind of gives you uh, our lineup at a glance compared to probably, you know, the manufacturer that most people are familiar with, you know, um, here. Um, and you'll see we've got a lot of, you know, we've got a lot of advantages. Um, you know, the big thing is the sensor hook switch. Like I said, that, you know, the, the manual spring switch, that's, that's going to fail. You know, if you're using, you know, that if you're using a phone in any type of office environment, 
high call volume, they're constantly picking up that handset, that will more than likely fail. The other advantage, and I think it's a big advantage, is the ability to add those decked devices. You know, you can add a headset to your to your phone for like 80 bucks. Our headset is very inexpensive and has a ton of advantages over typical Bluetooth headsets or compared to our competition who might have a decked headset, um, but it's like 300 bucks, you know. And I will mention that we do support other manufacturers' headsets via RJ9 and EHS on, on the three desk sets, the 717, 735, and 785. So if you do have a customer that has existing headsets, um, chances are that it'll work with ours as well. Um, and then the last thing, you know, that I really want to call out on this slide, again, um, in, in case you missed it the first five times, is our three-year warranty. Um, and, you know, that's just peace of mind for you guys, you know, that we're going to support these devices for, you know, at least three years. Um, you know, you don't have to worry about after 90 days if the phone breaks, you know, you got to send it back to us first. We're not, we're not going to do that. Um, we're going to take care of everybody for three years um, with these devices. So want to shift gears a little bit here. Um, want to move away from the desk sets and uh, go into cordless, which is, you know, our bread and butter. And um, we have a very unique cordless solution that I don't think uh, you're probably, you've probably seen before um, on the cordless side. Uh, we have the ability to um, uh, emulate a key system with our cordless phone. Um, and we can do that because we've put line appearances on our cordless handsets. Everybody can put line appearances on a desk set. Um, we took it a step further and put line appearances on our cordless handset. Um, and you know, I, I know you're thinking, oh, you know, Mike, everybody can do a key system. Uh, you know, it's, you know, we can do SCAs and shared call appearances, and that's true. But can you do it on a cordless? Probably not, because nobody else has line appearances on their cordless device. Um, and to take it a step further, you have to do a lot of programming to emulate a key system currently, right? You have to set up maybe a virtual extension or hunt groups, or you have to do a lot of programming somehow on the back end with shared call appearances. What's nice about our system is the access point that M100 takes care of all that for you. So let's go into, so what you can do is you can run one line into the M100 and that line will be shared among all the devices that are paired to that access point. Now you can add up to 10 devices and it can be any combination of handset, desk set, rugged handset, up to 10. You can do six concurrent calls you can run, um, you can, you can, um, it'll, it'll, it'll auto, it'll, it'll auto provision everything for you. You can do multicast paging, which means you can page to all the devices that are in the network. And that's all by running one hosted license into that access point. Now, the best place, you know, one great place I can think to sell this, again, it would be uh, retail establishments, restaurants, they always want to be mobile in restaurants, um, and um, small businesses. So any type of like a, like a startup business where they ne don't necessarily want to run uh, a ton of wires around the office, uh, you can basically sell them this as an office in a box. Um, but restaurants, this is perfect for restaurants. Restaurants, they're, they're always want to be cordless, they always want to walk around, um, this is great for them. Um, you don't have to spend a ton of time teaching them how to use the product. Uh, basically, you can see that picture there. You can see the four line appearances. So if you've got a call on hold, 
you'll see the button flashing on line one, two, three, or four. Just yell across the restaurant for somebody to pick it up, go to the bar, grab it. They don't have to dial star codes or transfer codes or any of that. Um, getting into the devices a little bit, we've got a rugged handset coming out. So the auto shop stores, um, anywhere that, you know, warehouses, anywhere that it might take a little bit of abuse, uh, we have a rugged handset that's available. And then of course, we've got the M18, which is a desk set. So, um, you know, let's take a, let's take a restaurant uh, atmosphere. Typical restaurant application that we're seeing is one M100, one M18 that sits at the hostess station. So they always have a stationary phone and then two or three of the handsets so that people can be mobile. Um, that's typically what we're seeing. So we're seeing three to four devices being deployed at a time, which is nice for you guys. You're not selling just one device anymore. You're selling a couple of different devices and it all pairs up to that access point. So the only thing you've got to program is the access point. So you're in and out super quick. So this is how we emulate a key system. And remember that access point is doing all the programming for you. So you don't have to set up shared call appearances or anything like that, and you still get the key uh, line emulation. Now, with this device, we're not just a one trick pony. We can also set it up as your typical cordless system where you have multiple lines running into the system and each handset has its own line. So you can also do that, which is like your standard cordless um, configuration. So um, I'll go back to I'll go back to Yealink again. This is how Yealink works today. Okay, they've got you know however many lines running in per device. So if you have four devices, they've got four lines. Each device has access to that one line. Um, so we can set it up this way as well. So if you want a more traditional cordless setup you can do it this way, or if you want something a little different that you can bring your customers, you can set it up again on this key line. So again, and the picture's the same, but anyway, so you can run one line into it, set it up as key line, or you can run up to eight lines, and then each device can have its own line. So again, 10 devices, um, uh, six concurrent calls. So more of a, more of a standard traditional cordless setup that you're you're all probably used to. So I'll go through this real quick. This is your access point. This is the brains of the operation. You need one of these for every deployment of the of the system that you put out. The, nothing will work without this access point. So this is this is the starting point for your selling of the cordless device. Um, and again, three-year warranty on all this stuff. So you know, even even the handset. So if the handset you know breaks, I mean, depending, you don't throw it in the river. <laughs> um, we'll support it for three years. Um, here's your cordless desk set. Again, you'll notice the 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 different thing about this are those line appearances. So we have four line appearances on the cordless handset, um, which you know it really sets the device apart. Um, Pretty standard stuff, seven days of standby, nine hours of talk time. Um, so, and then this is the rugged handset. Um, this is coming out, uh, I think in about, about 30 to 40 days, we'll have the rugged handset released. Gives you, you know, a little bit more um, flexibility when selling into uh, places where it might take abuse. Um, you can drop it and the battery door won't fall off and you, you won't break it in half like some other devices out there. And, you know, and, and what's nice about the cordless devices is the size. Some some manufacturer re release a cordless device and it's very small, like European feeling. Um, we we made these big so they fit in your hand and you know it's, it's going to feel like a nice solid device. This is the cordless desk set. Um, this also runs on battery, so if you want to take it and move it around, you have that ability. So you know I'll think of like um, again going back to to restaurants. Sometimes they have a hostess stand out on the sidewalk. Well, if you bring a cordless handset out there, you know, 
possibility that that cordless handset could walk away. Well, somebody's not going to take a cordless desk set. They'd have to have, have they'd have to have really big pockets <laughs> to take a cordless desk set. So um, this is good, you know, if you if you don't want to run wire somewhere or some retail stores having a sidewalk sale, they want a device out, out front, um, they can take this cordless desk set and move that around because it runs on battery. So, um, so that's a cordless product. Uh, I want to talk about conferencing. Um, this, is, this is a really cool uh, conference phone. Um, what's nice about the C520 is you'll notice um, that little mic. So we have wireless, we have cordless mics built into our conference phone. Um, and those mics, uh, again, run on decked. So you can go 500 feet away from that base unit with our cordless mics. Other manufacturers uh, will sell microphones, um, but they're either wired or they're in a separate standalone charger. So you still have to have multiple devices on the table. What's nice about ours is everything's integrated. So with the C520, there's two mics that are sitting and charging right in the conference phone. When you're ready to get on a call, you just pop those microphones out, put them on the table, and now nobody's shouting in the conference um, you know, to be able to herd. They don't sound like they're 10 feet away from the microphones because the conference phone is sitting in the middle of the table. Um, I've been in conferences where people have gotten up and walked to the middle of the table so they could be heard. Um, so uh, having the wireless mics, the cordless mics built in, a uh, big advantage. Now, also noise reduction. As you take those mics out and spread them out on the table, and now it's pulling from three different spots to reduce background noise. So again, the goal is to improve the call quality during your conference call. And being able to pull background noise from three spots as opposed to one, big advantage. Having everything incorporated so you're not, if you want to use the mics, you're not going to have to look around for where they might be sitting at that particular day because they're sitting right in the base unit. Um, <clears throat> this you can run um, three SIP accounts into. Um, it's also true a true PoE. So you don't need, you know, like a separate injector or anything. This will run PoE as well. Um, we also have Bluetooth built into this. So you can pair a, um, a Bluetooth headset. You can pair your uh, cell phone to it as well. Uh, so, you know, if you're, if you're driving into the office and you're on a call and you, you want to transfer it to your conference phone, you can do that very easily uh, with the C520. It just pairs up like any other Bluetooth device uh, will pair up. Um, now, the cool thing about the 520 is we can pair that wireless speaker up to the 520. So you can pair up to three of these to the 520, again, via DECT, and that DECT is 500 feet of range. So if you got a really big conference room, you might want to get a 520 and one or two of the wireless speakers. Um, to pair up to it. And this kind of gives you an idea, you know, what we were thinking on the setup. Um, so you'll see, you know, on that uh, right hand picture, you'll see large conference room setup. Um, this is where this device, you know, really shines with the speakers because you can have the conference phone in the middle, but when you have like, you know, a 15 foot long conference table, you're probably going to want another speaker or two just to hear even better than you normally can. So you'll take the C520, a couple of speakers, and let them go. Um, this is also good for um, multi-room conferencing, which you know people don't usually think of. But a good example that I saw of this in work is at um, at a, a divorce attorney. <laughs> so they had uh, they were mitigating or litigating uh, between the two parties. And the two parties did not want to be in the same room, as you can imagine, being a divorce attorney. They did not want to be in the same room together. So what the lawyer did was have the 520 in one room and the speakerphone in another room, and that's how they that's how they worked out the agreement. So kind of kind of interesting. Um, so that's the 520. 
And um, moving away from product a little bit, we, uh, we also offer all of our devices as a service. So everybody's trying to get away from that, um, from buying that hardware. So, you know, get away from that CapEx expense of, you know, shelling out a couple hundred bucks for phones. So we also offer device as a service. So, um, you know, pretty standard to what uh, the industry is doing. Uh, you know, they got month to month, 24 month, 36 month. Um, this is all done through um, CSC leasing, who you're probably familiar with if you're doing anything with the with the Yealink device as a service. Um, but it helps to you know, bring that initial upfront cost down. So uh, the device as a service program has been um, very good uh, for us uh, so far. So. <clears throat> so that's all I've got for you on the hardware side. Um, you know, this is my contact information. If anybody wants to get a hold of me with more questions or opportunities, uh, we can work on things together. Um, and last thing that we want to talk about, oh, it's not on this slide, um, is, uh, is, is vectors. Uh, we will be at vectors. So if anybody wants to come and see the product, we'll be there. We'll have uh, all of our devices there. Everything will be up and running. You can see the, uh, you can see the key line system in action. Uh, and said uh, a conference phone, so we'll be there, and I uh, hope you guys can uh, hope you guys can come out and uh, see us while we're there. I'd love to meet everybody. Okay, well, Mike, that was uh, that was very informative. Thank you very much. Um, and to talk about vectors real quick, and we'll get we'll get into answering some of these questions. Um, Snome is a is a platinum sponsor. Uh, they've been with us for the last couple years, and um, we really uh, are appreciative for them supporting us over at Vectors this year. <clears throat> they will have uh, a ton of equipment there, so you can test, feel, look, ask more in-depth questions about, uh, you know, vertical industry application and so forth. So, it's going to be a great opportunity in our in our solutions pavilion to uh, spend some time and and really check these things out. I think the price point, Mike. I think the DAS program really make this sip in point a viable solution for all our resellers out there and being and having this all supported in our button builder you know yeah. within the within our switch is just a huge advantage for everybody and not only just the our resellers but their customers too being able to go in and and make those modifications themselves and, and program the phone so uh, right. i appreciate all the uh, all the information about it we've got some questions here and i want to get into these questions um, you talked about you talked about the Wi-Fi, and you know, and how you can move that into some of these old buildings that don't have wiring and so forth. Do, do you have any case studies that that you've done that you know you could share with you know with us and our reseller base that could you know allow them to you know help present that you know to prospects out there to kind of say, hey, look, this was a retail chain that you know had had these issues. They were faced with these challenges and you know, they, we brought in the SNOM uh, Wi-Fi with the dongles, and we we spun everything up, and it's working perfectly. Do you have any any of those out there right now? Yeah, I can get with my um, I can get with my marketing team, and we can go through and see what we have available for uh, Wi-Fi case studies. Um, I mean, we're we're doing we're doing stuff like that all the time, so we we probably Perfect. have something that we can share with you guys. Perfect. If you get that, if you can get that over to me, then I'll get that posted up or, you know, in our dash manager or something like that, or we'll get it out and at least better educate of, because I know, I know our resellers are running into this day in and day out and <clears throat> having a solution that they can go to, having something that can be trusted is, is going to, it's going to be a, a huge opportunity for them. Yeah. And I think the, the caveat on, the caveat on Wi-Fi, of course, is, is bandwidth. Right. Exactly. You know, and I'm I'm not the technical guy, but I know I know enough to be dangerous. Um, you know, Wi-Fi will work, um, but you know, you could run into bandwidth issues depending on how many devices are on there. But if you guys are managing the network, then you know how to take care of that, and you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, we have some solutions that we're going to be introducing. We have a big product launch. We're we're going to be doing down at Vectors too, and uh, it, it it will it will totally um 
uh, I would say uh, it's going to it's a man it's a managed solution for them with with full redundancy and backup. So putting putting a Wi-Fi phone system in is going to be uh, just a, a snap of the fingers. They're going to, not going to have any issues. So we can't. I think pairing that up together is going to be a huge opportunity for uh, other resellers out there. You talked about. I want to go another question here. You talked about your three-year warranty. Yeah. What exactly does that mean? Can you? Can I mean? How does the RMA process work? You know, how do you determine if it's wrong and how soon can they get a new phone out? That, that's the important part because. You know, having a warranty and a full replacement warranty for three years, if, if I can't get a phone out quick enough to get it back in service, you know, that can be detrimental to uh, to a service provider. So can you explain that a little bit deeper? Yeah. So what what's really unique, you know, about our warranty is we know other manufacturers typically wait to get the product back first. Okay. Um, so, you know, you've got to take the time to box it up. You've got to get the shipping label. You've got to send it back to them. And then what they do is once they get the product, then they send it out. So you could be looking at, you know, probably a week, maybe more before they even ship the product out with us. Um, we've got an email you can use, or uh, we've got a phone number that you can use, you can just contact us with a warranty issue. And what we do is typically process that in 24 to 48 hours, and we will ship the product out first. So the product will be shipped before we get the defective product back. So the downtime for the customer is going to be minimal compared to what other manufacturers do. Um, so 24 to 48 hours processing time um, from when we get contacted to ship out the warranty product. And remember, that warranty is done with new devices, not refurbished devices. So that's another advantage that we have over some of our competition. Yeah, that's good to know. That's it's great to have a have a, a big manufacturer that's got your back when you're when you're a <clears throat> solution provider out there and a service provider. That's good to know. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, and if you're if you're selling, you know, typically you're selling more than a one year contract. Right. So, you know, you're going to want a warranty that's going to match up with the service contract length. So if you're selling a 36 month contract, you're going to want phones that are warranted for 36 months because after one year, then what do you got to do? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, that's true. That's true. And, you know, there's a lot of trend out there with the month to month uh, service agreements, too. And. And, and rolling out so we're we're seeing this is the, we're seeing terms very variable out there in the industry today but I want to move on because we, we do have a list of questions here so which models are desk and which are wall mount Sebastian uh, from our our neighboring neighboring country up in Canada asked this question yeah so um, our phones have a, a wall mount uh, built into the back of the phone um, it's got two little eyelets um, that are that are molded right into the plastic. Um, and you know, so typically what you can do is just you know throw a couple of screws in the wall and and slide the phone right on them. Now if if that doesn't work for you, we also do have a, a wall mount adapter available. So if you want to use like a, like a wall plate or something, you can you can you can buy the wall mount, but that's with with all three of the desk sets, uh, well, actually all four of the desk sets. Um, the D120, you do need the wall mount adapter to mount on the wall, but the the other three, the 717, the 735, and the 785, have those eyelets uh, molded into the back of the plastic. Oh, great, great. So that's for every phone. Yes. Fantastic, even, fantastic. Even the, cordless, even the cordless can be wall mounted. All right. For the Wi-Fi dongles, now that we're back into the cordless and some of the Wi-Fi's and the dongles, um, are you limited to alphanumeric characters on the phone? What do you mean? I don't, I don't know what that means. Okay, so it's, it's asking, are you limited to alphanumeric characters on the phone, or is there a way to program the Wi-Fi password into the dongle itself? Well, yeah, whatever, whatever your network password is is what you put. It's just like connecting any other, any other device to 
to Wi-Fi. Okay, so it supports you know any type of complex password, you yeah. know that, yeah. that which that yeah. sometimes phones don't support that. Yeah, basically when you when you plug the Wi-Fi dongle in, you're going to search for your network, and then it's going to ask you to put your network password in, and whatever that password is, yeah, you're you yeah, that's what you enter. Okay, great. So um, coming back from to Sebastian again here, any range extenders for the M100 base station? There is. Um, you can pair. You can put an extender which doubles the range um, of the access point, so you can go from you know 500 feet to like a thousand feet with a range with a range extender. Okay, good. All right. Um, Joel uh, is asking, will he be able to add a M10R to a VTEC VP650? Yes. All right, fantastic. Um, okay, we already got that one. And uh, I had a, I had a notification uh, from one of my techs that uh, some of these decked phones are out of stock in our store. So we'll take a real good look at that and make sure that uh, those are going to be available. Are you running into any situation where? Um, you're, it's, those are hard to keep in stock. Are they flying off the shelves? Can you give us any uh, input on that, Mike? Yeah, so it's it's been really popular. So what what we're doing now is, you know, as I touched on the beginning of the presentation, is we're making the we made the conversion from VTech business to Snome. Um, and we did that on the desk sets right away. So we converted all of our all of our VTech inventory. Uh, we sent that back and we brought in the new Snome desk sets. With the cordless, um, we were a little slower to transition. So the the current inventory that most distributors have right now is still under the VTech brand. The, the VTech brand would be the VDP VDP 650 product. Um, we're bringing, we're slowly transitioning all of that into the M100 Snome. So that might be why they're seeing, you know, smaller than uh, normal inventories. Um, but once we, once we fully convert to Snome, you'll see inventory levels, you know, with no issues. Um, so, so to answer your question, yes, it's selling very well, um, and uh, yes, we have a slight inventory. Uh, issue on the Snome product, but lots of the VTEC. Does that okay. make sense? So they're, they're one of the same. So uh, the same. and and the warrant the warranty is going to be the same. So oh, okay. identical product product different different name. That's correct. And okay, I think great. I think in the in the store right now it's still under VTEC, I, I believe. Okay. And every you know just to let everybody know everything in in the Sky Switch store within your dash manager uh, all that inventory is there all the all the VTech inventory is still there. Yeah. Some of the deck devices are are showing out of stock but uh we're going to be getting everything updated here and within the night uh, what would you expect with between the next 90 days we should have a, a full conversion over to Snome? Oh, we'll have it by the time we're at Vectors. Oh, super. Super. So within the next 30, 40 days will be there. 30 days, yeah. All right, perfect. So um, here's a here's a question. Are there any minimums to run the DAS program? Can you do it for one phone, or do you have a, a minimum of 20 phones? Can you explain that a little bit? Yeah, we start at one. You have to sell at least one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Otherwise, there is a minimum. We can't do DAS if you don't. <laughs> Man. You can't, so you don't try to sell half a phone. Yeah, make sure you you sell the phone configuration. <laughs> we're so we're so difficult. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, the DAS program is a huge program for our reseller channel out there. Uh, resellers are able to take that complete cap X out of the equation yeah. when they're talking to about a sale to a customer. No cap, no no capital investment off. You know, for the end use for the for the end user. Um, you completely remove that, move it into a rental situation, and you know you really don't even have to carry it yourself. You know the DAS program works great. Um, I know that Pim Hutchinson over at CSC, they've been doing this a long time. They've got the program down. So 
if you guys need an introduction to PEM, um, I can get that introduction done, or you can just call CSE Leasing yourself and talk to PEM, talk about the program, um, the ins and outs, and how to get started. I think you'll really find that it will be just, it, it'll be a, a huge impact on your business, taking that CapEx away. Yeah, and on the, um, on the Snowm America's website, which you guys can go visit and see all the product and spec sheets and data sheets if you go to Snowm Americas, um, all of that is there. Um, also, all the information on the DAS program, um, including the application for CSC is up there as well. So um, go ahead and check out the website. And you, like I said, you can get data sheets and technical information on all the product as well. Fantastic. <clears throat> well, um, that's that's really it on the questions today. Um, I tell you, we've we've had some uh, just some comments that have been put into the uh, into the chat, and oop, we got one more that just popped in. Does the key line systems tunnel to each to each line? This is for the deck phones. Tunnel to each line. No, Does the key that. line systems tunnel? tunnels to each lines yeah, I don't, on don't, the deck phones is no, there i'm not sure what that means i said i'm not yeah, technical <laughs> yeah yeah <clears throat> okay so when you're in line one and you're on line one yeah keep going john okay well we can't get a great explanation of this right now so uh but anyway they, they can contact me if they want. Yeah, yeah. Why don't we just uh, why not we just go ahead and contact Mike Harvey? You've got his information right here on the screen. Give him a call. Talk to him in depth, you know, about configuration application. He'll be he'll be glad to help you out. Some of the comments we've had in here though is amazing, great products by the way. Love the wireless VDP 651 shared line appearance that came from Sebastian up in, in Canada too and some various other folks around the country. So Mike, great job. Thank you so much for taking the time out today to en enlighten us about the <laughs> new Snome uh, Americas and uh, look forward to seeing everybody down at Vectors this year. D don't forget, we've just uh, we've got an all-star lineup of, of speakers, breakout session training, if you want to grow your business in 2020, coming to Vectors 2019 is going to be an amazing opportunity for you to gather up intel, to go out there and become more effective and, and, and to grow your business and, and generate more revenue. So we look forward to seeing everybody out there. Thank you again, everyone. And uh, we'll see you next time on the SkySwitch University webinar series. Have a great day.